Good morning, everybody. Uh, a rainy, crummy day outside, and I was just wondering, what am I going to do today? Turned on the computer, and I see that the firmware version 2 is now available for the A7R3. And I thought, eh, probably not going to be much in there. However, when I read the description, I see that all of the uh, focus modes are now unlocked for the LAEA3 adapter, which I'm still using A-mount lenses with that adapter. So let's take a look at the options we have before the firmware update, then we'll take a look at the options after. Okay, we're going to try to just uh, film the screen here. So right now I have the LAEA3 and the Sony 7300 on there. Okay, and if we go to our focus modes, we have AFS, which is pretty much anywhere. There, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little gray right there in the top corner. There's little gray boxes. So anywhere within those frames, it's going to automatically find something to focus on. Usually the closest thing in the frame. We can also touch anywhere in there on the screen and it will focus. Okay, so that's our AFS. This is continuous autofocus. So if we hold the button down, we can see it's continuing to focus. And same thing, we can lock by clicking anywhere on the screen. We don't have DMF and we don't have access to manual focus because those are on this lens body. But we also don't have AFA. Okay, we'll also go into our focus area. What choices do we have? We have wide. We don't have zone. We have center and we have flexible spot. So once you've selected flexible spot, it's the little gray box there. And you have to use your joystick to move it around or you can touch the screen. And that gives you pretty much the same <laughs> thing that we were doing by just touching the screen, which is pretty much much faster anyway. Why, why anyone would still be using this, I don't know. But it is an option. Um, we have our center, which is, again, you probably can't see the box. There's the little gray box. And we have wide, which is just basically essentially that wide box that comes out here. There's the corner of it right there. And there's another corner at the top. That you can't see the other two. But we don't have access to zone expanded flexible spot and lock on autofocus expanded flexible spot. I'm just trying to update the firmware which is a fairly simple process. You download the uh, installer onto the computer and when you open it it gives you a step-by-step -step instruction. The only problem and I've had this twice and I forgot about it is that you cannot connect the camera with the USB-C uh, the fast cable. You have to connect it with the standard I can't unplug it now, but just a standard um, USB, the slim, the small ones, not the fat like the old A99 used to take, but the slim version of that. And then it will recognize the camera. If you plug it in with this cable, which came with the camera, um, mine does not recognize it says cannot find the camera. As soon as I plug in a regular slim um, cable, it works. I'll just show you guys. There is my version 110, and then after the update, it's going to be version 2. Once you've installed your firmware update, guys, you want to verify it. So if you scroll across your menus at the top to the toolbox and you go over to the last page, you'll see where it says version. And if you click on that, there we are, version 2, which is what we just downloaded and installed. Okay, now if we go into our shooting options. We still don't have AFA, DMF, so none of that has changed. Which they didn't say it would, we're just checking, right? Never hurts. People will ask me, did you look at that? Yes, we did. 
Let's go into our focus areas. And now we have wide zone. Let's try zone, which we didn't have before. Whoops. So now we can basically move a big block around the screen. Yay! And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to it's going to focus on the closest item in the frame. So let's go to we had center before. We had flexible spot. Oh, it is opening. Huh. Expanded flexible spot. That's what I like to use on, on my A77 II. Um, is the expanded flexible spot. And what that does is it's going to pick the center um, spot of the box wherever you touch the box. But if it can't lock focus around it, you see all those little tiny boxes around it? It will use those. It will try to lock on around that center box if it can't lock on the center box. So it's just a little more accurate focus. There you go. There's no center in that spot. Couldn't get it, so it locked all the way around it. That's expanded uh, focus lock right there. So the last option that has been unlocked here is the lock on autofocus expanded flexible spot. And if you try to pick it, it gives you a warning that this operation is not available because we're in single shot autofocus. So if we change this to continuous, that should now be available to us. Lock on autofocus expanded flexible spot is pretty cool. This is one we've been missing. So there's my center box. I'm going to move it over here to the shed, and if I just um, click down the shutter and hold it, see the green box stays on the shed no matter where I move the camera. As long as you keep your item in the frame, it's going to focus on, let's, let's try it on the um, basketball net. So we could be shooting pictures, um, you know, if you're chasing a running kid in a, on a soccer field. We've done tests on the other cameras to see how accurate, how well it works. Which we will now be able to do with the A7R3 and the LAEA3 and my 7300 and other A-mount lenses. So there you have it guys. We really have to give a thumbs up to Sony on this one because we're using old uh, A-mount stuff that's what the LAEA3 adapter is for. They don't have to support us. There's no reason to other than, you know, they would lose a few grumpy customers. And I'm one of them. Don't get me wrong. I'm one of them. I have 30 A-mount lenses, and that's all I use on my A7R3. I own one E-mount lens. So for me, this is a dream come true. And I want to say, fantastic job, Sony. I, um, you know, for them to support the legacy stuff in this instance, they've moved on to E-mount. That's, that's the bottom line. We have to accept that. Um, but now, coming out with updates for, you know, adapters a year into this camera's existence, that's fantastic. I now have all the options that I did on my older cameras. I didn't have to buy, you know, a $2,000 replacement for a lens I already own. So I just want to say thanks to Sony, and you guys stay tuned. We're going to do some testing with the new firmware. Thanks for watching.